it's that time I come along come along uh, and let's put some valves in this engine it's that one and a half horsepower McCormick Deering made by International Harvester this head actually goes on to the bailing war engine and as you can see we've got uh, very loose valve guides quite a bit several thousands in that valve guide worn out we've got a new face a new stem the the, 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 the reasoning for valve guides and, and if you look at this head visually it looks it looks really good good nice seat in there I mean they're a little discolored the uh, the head itself is in quite good shape if I put these valves in here and now this is this 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 is uh, not quoting myself it's actually in the book standard procedure uh, to put the valves in here now the the looseness of that valve the wobbliness every time that that valve comes down it hits a different place on that seat and it it really really fast hammers away this valve seat surface and the valve seat surface here that's the reason for you that you need a good valve plus to make it seat good and these valves here if you look at them that is a one angle valve seat a three angle valve seat which so many people rate highly a three angle valve seat is nothing more it's in the book now this is not me don't, don't quote me quote the book a three angle valve seat is you would cut the seat as we have it here now and then you would cut a different angle right on this top edge and then you would cut a different angle on the bottom of that and it's just that would be a three angle valve seat <laughs> nothing uh, well <laughs> it pays a little more money to sell one but this came from the factory let's not let's not get away from what we're doing here the, the you will need a you will need a guide you can purchase this right here these in a kit that has a cone on the bottom that's supposed to fit in here but I, I I have I have had them in the past I have I have I have used them and I find that they're they they are not a positive fit so I do I do make my own uh, and you will the, the different valves that you use will have a different different size uh, you will end up with one of these for Oh, I got a bunch of them. The the reamer itself, and these are expensive. I mean, we're talking one hundred and thirty-five, hundred forty dollars here just for the reamer. But you but you got to have one. The and it's a it's a thirty thousandths oversize in this area and a three twelve five I think in this area. And it and this is a bronze liner that I'm going to use in these. And it's 312 on the inside and 342, I think it is, on the outside. So that reams the hole for these guides. If you were going to use a different guide, you would have a different reamer. Uh, it does have an alignment bushing here. And the way you would use that is put it the way we're going to use it. You put it down in there and then you put this down in there and that O ring right there and you push that down in there. And that makes this right here really really rigid and you can ream your whole drill and ream at the same time to the correct size let's get that done this not being my normal work area or that I do head work is I drill I drill four po points in the workbench and them these standoffs right here fits in them points and that way you've got your you've got your head secured you want to have a secure workpiece I did go through all these bores here to clean out any rust or carbon or anything with these flex hones and it's a good it's a good choice it's a actually a flex hone is invaluable when you need one 
The and it, and this boy right here is cleaned out really, really good. These have been in the electrolysis tank, cleaned very well. That fits in there tight like that. It, it took to the point where that I show you what I had to do. The head that I the head that I did the last time had a was is was pitted in this area. This head cleaned up a little better than the last head that I did that I had made this for. So then so there was a little bit of play there. Just very maybe a half a thousandth or so. Maybe a thousandth. So I did go with some real thin tape all the way around that right there. So that when you put that in there and turn it, now that's a really, really good fit. And that's it's that important that that fits quite well. This is cast iron. We'll cut it and that's the only thing that this reamer has been used on. If you're using a cast iron, dedicate the reamer for that operation. No lubricant, no no uh, lubricant on the cast iron. It will be machine dry. You can put a spring in this area here if need be. I don't use the spring. Some people do. And you want to have some working clearance. The and and we just go to ream it. We have that hole reamed. If you could see in yonder, it's a perfectly nice reamed hole, true to the seat. I did have everything cleared away on the bottom right there. Always be mindful of your work area. Now let's do the other one. Some 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 heads will have two different size. Just so happened that the uh, International, the McCormick Deering, used the same size. Get that in there really, really good and tight. That's important. Have a little little clearance and ream away. Two valve guide holes reamed, ready for the installation of the valve guide. One end of this is tapered, usually the end that's marked, it has a little bevel on it. So this is the end you want to drive with. I will drive it in there with a impact wrench, and you really want the slowest hammer rate impact wrench that you can get. You do not want a high powered a uh, uh, cheap one. The cheapest impact uh, tool you can get, the better for valve work. And this fits right on there like that. I did have a problem way some time ago that this would, when when this when this goes in here, and you driving it home, when you're installing it, this would uh, would flare out. So I made this right here some years ago, and that goes on there. It's a, it's it's the exact size, and that goes on there, and that holds your, that holds that together, and it'll just drive right on through there, and it won't flare out. You will need one of those.